All right, guys, Red Wolf Pack One here. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to start bass fishing from scratch for $150. So in this video, I'm gonna run to Academy. I'm gonna buy the baits, point out some rod and reels that I like in the line that you're gonna be needing to get. Let's go to Academy. There she is. You know, hit that pole. Oh my God. Academy, baby. Oh, vlog, dude, vlog. Oh, dude, that's a new customer service area. It's nice. Alright, first you need your reel. Um, hmm. It's 100% carbon fiber. Cool, dude. So, good spinning reel will be like, H2 Express is alright. It's a good budget. Dude, chill. Another good one is the Mitchell. Abu Garcia is alright. So yeah, just get ready to dish out like 50, 60 bucks on a decent reel. Any of these will work. It's pretty much just personal preference. And I wouldn't go anything under $30 if you want a decent, long lasting reel. Is that the only ride in your budget? Yeah. Ride. Might be thinking so many choices. Pretty much any high budget rod will do you well. You can't go wrong with the Academy H2 Express spinning rod for 80 bucks. It's a good one. It's probably what I would recommend. So once you get your rod and reel selected, obviously need some line. There's no no need in using braid unless you're fishing heavy grass. So I would recommend my favorite line. Cajun line. It's cheap. You get a lot of it. It's very strong. I'd probably go 12 pounds for the average spinning reel fishing. And uh, make sure you buy it like in the box. Don't make the mistake of buying in the spool because uh, it kind of sucks in the spool. So bust out 550 for uh, some decent line, premium monofilament. That's the way right, to go. Yeah. What kind of hooks do you need? I don't know. <laughs> Correct, in. So for worm fishing, you're gonna need some <laughs> super lock keeper hooks. You gotta make sure it has the little extension on the end to hold your worm in place. I would recommend, once again, H2 Express. Get some good hooks. Use a weighted hook. What do you do? Put a weight on it. Exactly. Wow, you're so smart. So we find our weights. This is called tungsten. No need messing with tungsten. You just get your uh, $1.30 slip sinkers and you match them with your H2 Express wide gap hooks. You're good to go. Now, for the best part, you get to pick yourself plastics. So, I would recommend a Zoom Finesse Worm. Ian, come here. Ian, get off your phone. What color would you choose if you were going to fish a pond? Green. Alright, so Ian likes green. I like watermelon red. But you just choose That's green a color that you think would suit your water conditions. And uh, I'd recommend these if you're not sure. And you just get to buy it, it's not that expensive. To buy them, test them out, see what works best. Also, you got the Zoom Super Fluke. I would recommend this. Buy you a pack of these in the bass color and the watermelon red Zoom Trick Worm. Oh, maybe get the neon tail. I go pick you up some of these right here. If you guys want a crawdad bait, I recommend the Zoom Speed Crawl. Don't waste your money on a crawl like this. Witter crawl and never catch fish off those. You gotta get the speed crawl, baby. The selection here sucks, but I'm gonna go green pumpkin. My favorite part. Just 
to Uber next in line. Are you excited? Okay. <laughs> Dude, now for my least favorite part, going home. Did you look at that babe? Well, we got our goods. Now we're gonna teach you how to rig up and fish a worm properly. Excited, in? No. Dude, I like your whip. Oh, that's not your car. That's not my car. Let's say that's a gay peace sign. Dude, you gotta make this vlog entertaining. Hey, look at squirrel. Outside in the all black rock. Tim rolled up when I'm out. Said they all wanna live, but I just wanna die. Motherfucker, if you're looking for me, find me in the night. I got enough, don't wanna fight. I wanna take your fucking life in the right on sight. When I strike, if you walk, let it pop.